I'm very concerned about uh, what Biden has done at the southern border. Um, you know, since he's been president, they've had two million come in illegally across the southern border. Uh, I had helped send some people to help from Texas to help Texas last summer, and I went down there and visited. They're coming from all over the world. Uh, we saw Libyans, we saw Haitians, we saw people from the Middle East, South America, you name it, they were coming. And what's happened is you've seen the biggest increase in human trafficking, sex trafficking, and drug trafficking than we've ever seen um, in the modern history of our country. The number one cause of death, like one of the, the main things they're bringing across the border is fentanyl. The number one cause of death between people 18 and 45 in the United States of America is fentanyl overdose. And so when you have that flow coming in, that has a direct impact on communities all across this country with the fentanyl. And, um, you know, I think, it's, I think it's been a disaster. But what they're now doing is they're going to get rid of what they call Title 42. So the one that they, the people that they were stopping now even they're going to be able to come, and so I think those numbers are going to increase starting at the end of May. So, so that's not good policy for this country. And so what we're doing in Florida is saying, you know, we're not going to let the recklessness of those policies um, impact our state. So we do not, if businesses or if contractors are dumping people who are illegal into Florida from southern Texas, you know, we're going to go after their ability to do business in Florida. If Biden is dumping people, which he has dumped, people. They fly them in at 2 in the morning. They haven't done it lately, but they did it many months ago. Um, you know, we now have money where we can reroute them to sanctuary states like Delaware, and we're going to do that to make sure that we're keeping people safe here.